Hi and welcome to a new tech stuff episode of my channel. Today I'm finally gonna go through my better flight settings of my Turner G Multistar all-in-one unit which I built in my Flight Club Tokyo X 2X frame. I will just go through every single page of better flight and will show you all the setting I changed from stock. Let's start. So first connect the quad and then let's have a look at the first page, setup page. This is nothing to set up, so let's go to ports. On ports I have activated UART1. This is needed to use the SBUS solder pins on the board. So just activate this and then we can already go to configuration. On the configuration board there is some more to change. What I use is inverted motor direction, so motors will spin outside, so away from the FPV lens. For this you have to activate this slider here. And I use the shot 1200. Then let's go down here. What is important for the build I did as you can see, the back side of the board is on the right side, so I had to turn the board uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise. And what you have to do if you do the build like this, you have to do at board and sensor alignment, put your degrees to minus 90 degrees. And that means counterclockwise, if you put no minus in front of your 90, uh, then it will be clockwise turning. So clockwise means you turn your FC like this and counterclockwise your FC is turned like this. So 90 degrees turned like this on the frame. So then let's have a look at system configuration. All frequencies are set to 8 kHz. So gyro update frequency and pit loop frequency. And we go more down, then we have serial based receiver set for my Futaba SBUS receiver and also serial receiver provider on uh, switch to SBUS. Then other features, the only thing I activated is permanently enable air mode, all other stuff is deactivated and for beeper I have everything activated like it's stock so no need to change anything. Then power and battery, I don't do anything there. Then let's go to pit tuning. What is important, always important for pit tuning to know these pits work for my quad. It's not the perfect setup for sure for my quad, but it's I think it's a good setup. I will try to tune a little more in the next few days, but um, it works pretty well like this. If you have a, a heavier quad or a lighter quad or other props, other motors, then everything will change. So uh, you can try these settings, but it's not for sure that they will work for your quad. So try them out, but no guarantee that this will be good for you. So what I have is on P, we have roll with 63, on pitch we have 72. On Yo we have 70, this is stock. On Integral, on E, we have Roll on 42, Pitch on 52, and Yo on 55. Then we have Derivative, D is Roll on 39 and Pitch on 42. RC rate is stock with 1.0, Super rate is also stock with 0.7, and I use 10% uh, uh, RC Expo, so it's uh, 0 0.1 set pit controller settings are stock and everything else is stock on this page then let's have a look at the receiver also here I changed almost nothing the only thing I do is RC deadband I put 5 on RC deadband and your deadband just to relax the quad a little bit around center stick so if you move your sticks without you want to move them but it's, it, it just happened and um, your quad already reacts and if you put some dead band on it 
this won't happen that much if you just move your sticks a little, little bit, but you don't want to move the quad, but it does if you put it to zero. So it really makes sense to use that band, how much you have to try yourself, what is good for you. Then that's already it. And on modes, I only use uh, arm with aux one and beeper on aux two, just to recover the quad if I crash in high grass or something, and all the rest isn't set. So that's already almost it. I already bought a new all-in-one unit from Turnergy. There was the firmware from Omnibus F4. The 3.2.5 on it and I just updated it to 3.3.2 and we can also have a look uh, which version is on it it's Omnibus 4 3.3.2 some pilots also say they should use Deluxe F4 OSD firmware but for me uh, the Omnibus F4 works great so it's your own choose which one you use what I also had to do on CLI is to resource my motors just because also because I spin the all-in-one unit 90 degrees counterclockwise that means the solder pins of each ESC are not in the same position as if you mounted stock so what I had to do is to set other resource settings and so we put in resource and let's have a look there uh, where we have uh, motors, resource motor 1 to 4. Uh, my new resources are for motor 1 A03, motor 2 is on B00, motor 3 is on A02, and motor 4 is on B01. You can just check in the link above in the video how to change all the resource settings for your motors if you spin your all-in-one unit in any kind of direction and yeah that's all for today so I hope you liked the video give me a thumb up if you like it comment share subscribe and as always happy flying bye bye